Somebody told me, uh, Scout, last week that Anaheim, this shocks me, one of the toughest buildings to win on the road in the NHL, wow. Anaheim. I, and there's not, it can't be the atmosphere because yeah. there's not big crowd, great, you know, this doesn't, but there are tough. It's crowd, right. no. It's Getzloff, it's this, Perry. This it's, time next year, that's going to change. You know who it's going to be? Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Vegas. And is it going to be because Vegas. of the team or because of the nightlife? <laughs> Listen, so far, most teams have gone in there. Yeah. Have, have stayed a minimum three or four days, okay? No. no. And most of them have already had their rookie dinners there. Oh, really? So figure out the good road or the good home record. Let's See, let the schedule help you. <laughs> I told Let the schedule be your friend. Listen, I, I told you. I told you the greatest. I, we, it, you, when I was coaching, it was Montreal. Montreal went was to Montreal, the, and that was yeah. Montreal was the place you had to figure out how it was going to go. How to spend the night? And I told you my greatest, one of my greatest hockey stories of all time. Listen, listen, that's we got personal. Beat, hang on, and, let's hear it. Yeah, you we got share beat. That. Is this the one we, about the defenseman? No, okay. we got beat seven one in Montreal. And I went into the dressing room after the game, coaching Florida. I said, "Okay, you guys, that's fine." On the bus, seven thirty tomorrow morning, practice in Verdun. I was going to give him the day off. I was going to give him the day oh, off. Oh, you're mean. Oh. So You're so mean. I'm, oh. I've been getting dressed, and the room is kind of smelly. There's a lot of a, a, <laughs> I could smell a little alcohol in, the, in amongst the group, eh? I'm, I get on the bus because we'd wear our, put our equipment on, and we'd, we'd go on yes. the bus carrying our skates yes. to go to Verdun. Everybody be dressed. I'm sitting in the front seat of the bus, and everybody's on except my captain, Brian Scrudlin. Brian comes on the bus, and he's got his helmet on, his stick over his end. He's got a beer bottle taped to the top of his helmet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a beer bottle taped to the top of his helmet getting on the bus to go to practice. Attaboy, Brian. <laughs> so Captain. I'm telling you. Wait, great I, message, Brian. Okay, great I, message. I started to howl. I, I, <laughs> no, I mean, you did so, not. Oh, no. And I was so ticked off. But when I see this guy get on, who was one of the greatest of all yes. time for me, I see him get on. I thought, oh my God, yeah. he's got it right. He's got it. Right. <laughs> he's got it right. We, you had it wrong I all the time. Wrong. He had. We go on the ice in Verdun and have one of the best practices of the year, and he set the tone, having the to come on the bus with yeah. a beer bottle taped to his helmet. How would you see Matthews do that with the Babcock? Not yet. I know. <laughs> Not yet. Protein and Lou, shake. By, by March. 